Hey everybody, I just want to share a quick story that happened last week. Uh, think about it a lot over the weekend. So last week I'm at this event and I see a guy I haven't seen in, in like a decade. And we start schmoozing and I'm like, hi, how's everything? He's like, fine. I'm like, how are things going? And you know, usually when you say that, it's more figurative, but I guess he took it more literal. And he's like, things? How are they going? Eh. Like that. Eh. I was like, what does that even mean? So I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, I'm like, are things okay? I'm like, is your marriage okay? He's like, yeah. Kids, yeah. Money, career? He's like, yeah. I'm like, everyone healthy? He's like, yeah, everyone's healthy. I'm like, so what do you mean? He's like, you know, same old stuff. I think he said like, same old stuff and then you die, but he didn't use the word stuff. And I'm like, okay. And then he stops and he's like, you know, life is so boring. Like, he just, like, says it and just, like, walks off like that. And I was like, okay. And I kept on walking, and I'm in the car. And for some reason, like, that, that word boring stuck in my head. And you ever get that feeling that you get, like, a flashback? So I'm in the car driving, and I remember a story that happened to me when I was 17. I was 17 years old, and I'll never forget. My grandparents, I grew up, my grandparents, was down, were, were, they lived down the block from me. So many times I ended up in their house for whatever reason, before Shabbos, after Shabbos, whatever it is. I was in their house Saturday night and I was making plans with friends and we were supposed to all go somewhere and everything fell through. And I had nothing to do on a Saturday night at 17. Can you imagine? So I go downstairs, I was upstairs, and my grandparents were like in the kitchen watching TV. I don't know, they were watching like Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy or something that my grandparents love and probably your grandparents as well. And they're like all into it. Like, they're about to, like, guess the line on TV. And, I, like, I walk in the room, like, moping, and, like, no one's paying attention. So, like, I let out, like, a sigh. And then, like, my grandma looks over, and she's like, what's the matter? And I'm like, Phew. She's like, what? I'm like, I'm not going out with anybody tonight. And it didn't work out. And she's like, okay, so you'll, you know, relax. And I'm like, what, what are you, so boring. I'll never forget, my grandmother looks at me and says, when I was your age, my grandparents are Holocaust survivors. Now, when a Holocaust survivor says, when I was your age, that's checkmate. That's it. You lose. Whatever happens next, you lose. Fold. When I was your age, I'm like, oh, man. When I was your age, Charlie, I would have done anything for one boring Saturday night. All she said. She didn't even say it in a mean way. She just said it as like a fact. And she just turns back around and with my grandfather tried to figure out what was going on on the screen. And I'll never forget that. You know, when you live a life and if you're blessed to not be living in a time of insecurity, if you're blessed to have heat in your house and food in your fridge and health in your body. If you're living a life and life becomes, so to speak, boring, many times that's the greatest blessing of all. Many times we are so yearning for excitement, for stimulus, that whenever something becomes normalized, we stop appreciating it. We start looking for things to like, you know, get us focused, but we don't really remember that the things that we care about most really are the things that are quote unquote boring. It's boring, so to speak, to have heat in your house until, like it happened to us a couple of weeks ago, the heat breaks and you're freezing. It's normal to have food in your fridge, to be, thank God, hopefully healthy, to walk down the street not worried about getting beaten up because you're a Jew. When things become normal, we stop appreciating them. But sometimes the most beautiful things in the world are boring. Sometimes the greatest gift we have is a boring Sunday afternoon with nothing to do, kids in the house, locked doors, and everything is just okay. We get to read or learn or think. Sometimes the greatest gift in the world is just another boring day because 
for things to be boring, that means everything's got to be sort of okay. And there are a lot of people in this world that would do anything for your boring. And so wherever you are today, wherever you are this week, when you find yourself a little bit less happy, when you find yourself a little bit less excited about life, try to look at your boring day and the most boring aspects of your life and try to see the beauty in it. Because sometimes the greatest gift we ha gifts we have are the ones that are the most boring. We wouldn't trade it for the world. So why don't we just appreciate it all the same? Because if we can appreciate boring, we can appreciate anything.